in chemistry. As an introduction, we just saw the so-called chemical waves, a special variant of the famous belusov sabotinsk correction on the overhead projector. But let us have a short look on the theoretical background of this interesting reaction. Oscillating reactions are complex reactions that show periodic variations of some of the components in time or space. The first step is an autocatalytic process where X is an intermediate. In the second step, X reacts with another intermediate Y in a second autocatalytic process. The final step is the conversion of Y to the stable product P. But it seems that many of you are not too interested in these theoretical considerations. That's true. Okay, okay. Then let us imagine the following. A are parrots, X is a population of rabbits, Y a population of foxes, and P are the foxes that have died. At the beginning there is a real abundance of carrots. The rabbits love to eat carrots, thrive and become plentiful. This brings the foxes into the arena because they love to eat rabbits. The number of the foxes starts to grow, whereas the rabbit population diminishes. Eventually, the voracious foxes have eaten nearly all of the rabbits. Famine sets in and the foxes die, bringing us back to the first step. But let us return to the belusov sabotinsky in short, beset reaction, the reaction between malonic acid and bromate. Here the reduced and oxidized states of the redox catalyst ferrin are oscillating out of phase, such as the rabbit and the fox populations. The cycles repeat as long as the supply of reactant holds out. But enough theory. Besides of reactions with cycling color changes, there also exist chemiluminescent oscillating reactions. Here is a nice example of such an reaction. Potassium thiocyanide solution is poured into the beaker. Then copper sulfide solution is added. as well as an alkaline luminol solution. Subsequently, the solution is heated to a temperature of approximately 45 degrees centigrade. As soon as the desired temperature is reached, a 30% hydrogen peroxide solution is added. But now we have to switch off lights to see the effect. flavored spirit can dance? If not, then have a look at the following amazing experiment. A little bit of a green liquid is poured into the champagne flute. Then 
an equal amount of uh, transparent liquid is added. And then the show can begin. I am sure you already guessed that we are dealing with another type of oscillations. In this case, the gas release changes rhythmically. Please prepare for our next lecture, the chemical background of the last experiment with the help of internet. But I hope you all like our short excursion into the fascinating world of oscillations in chemistry.